would love to hear your description of the current state of where the country is in, in recovering, returning to the public markets, and attracting investment. Well, the Irish economy continued to grow on a sustainable basis after I left office up to around 2001. But after that then, a, a bubble developed in the economy based on cheap mo money coming in from outside, being invested in an over-expanded construction sector, which created a huge problem also for government revenues that were artificially high. And then when the bubble burst over here, it also burst in Ireland, but the exposure in Ireland was very, very large. So we're now reconstructing that. We've got to deliver our private sector, deliver our household sector, and deliver our government sector. And the government is making considerable progress in this. When we got the assistance from the EU and the IMF originally, We've already done 22 uh, billion of the consolidation. We have a remaining, uh, a remaining six or seven billion to do over the next two years to get ourselves back into a situation of having a primary surplus. In other words, where we would be no longer spending more than we're taking in on, on uh, and that I think is, is the immediate goal. Once we've achieved that, we will be able to go back into the markets to raise money commercially at reasonable prices. And of course, we're dependent very much on the success of the euro uh, and I think we're beginning to see now that th the leaders in Europe are putting it together at last and putting all the blocks in place to enable the euro to be on the much on the solid footing that it should have been on from the outset and you on no uncertain terms want to see no changes to the euro Greece for instance you would not want to see the euro is established by law as an irreversible currency union and if there was the slightest question raised about the reversibility of it, even for one country, that I think would undermine the whole project. And we've seen in Europe when the ruble zone broke up, the absolutely devastating effects that occur if a currency union breaks up. So we're not going to allow that to happen in Europe. Germany is not going to allow that to happen. France is not going to allow it to happen. And Ireland is not going to allow it to happen. Nor is Greece, for that matter. So we're, we, we, will put, we will hold it together. But we've got to do a lot, establishing a, a proper banking union, common resolution mechanism for banks, common supervisory mechanism for banks, more, uh, a more vibrant financial market to develop, uh, the, to overcome the weaknesses of the European economy, one of which I hope to deal with, which is improving our energy efficiency through uh, better uh, financial support.